Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your machine. Uh, on the screen it will say up the top here P PFN list corrupt. This is the Windows 7 blue screen of death and this is the Windows 10 blue screen of death. Now I'm going to show you two methods. One if you can actually access your desktop like this. I'm going to show you two fixes. If you can't access your desktop, it blue screens at every startup. I'm going to show you how to fix that afterwards. So if you've got access to your desktop, click on um, Start and type in Device and open up Device Manager. Now what you want to do is look at your network adapter and your display adapter. Um, search on the internet if there's an updated driver to find out what driver you've got if you go into properties driver it will show you the driver version there have a look on the internet for an updated driver and install that and the second thing we need to do is if you go into Windows Explorer so yeah, if you click on here file explorer this PC and if you right click on your C drive and go to properties tools error checking and click on scan drive that's going to scan your drive for any corrupt files and it will fix it automatically when that's finished restart your machine and you can uh, the problem should be resolved now if you can't boot to your desktop at all insert your Windows 10 or Windows 8, Windows 7, whatever operating system you've got and restart your machine. I'm just going to do that now. When you get prompted to press any key, obviously press any key. Okay, on the first screen click next. Uh, don't click on install now, click on repair your computer down the bottom here. Now click on troubleshoot, advanced options and if you click on start up repair that's going to launch an application that's going to check all of your files on your operating system to make sure they look correct if they don't if it looks like they've got an issue it automatically repairs it for you and once that's finished if you just restart your machine and you'll be able to get to your desktop again thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next one